First, import your print file into Prusa Slicer. Then pull the layer slider, which is on the right, down until you see the last open layer for the magnet holes. You can see here that at layer 6.0, the areas for the magnets are open, and then at layer 6.2, they are closed. Then right click on the plus sign and select Add Pause Print. A message box will pop up and you can add instructions like insert magnets. Then I always like to double check that everything looks good. Also, the layer of the pause is indicated by that layer now appearing gray. So here is the actual print paused and ready for the magnets to be inserted. The orientation of the magnets do not matter when you insert them. This is because I designed enough space in each of those holes for the magnets to rotate when orientating to other magnets, like in the other tiles. I'll go into that more, and also why I like to alternate two size magnets in another video. If you don't have a magnetic print bed like the one I am using here, you will need to do this a little differently. Simply add a magnet on the outside, opposite of every magnet on the inside. This will hold the magnets in place, preventing them from jumping out of the print and attaching to the print head when the printing resumes. Also, don't glue the magnets in place because they need to be able to move freely within the part once the print is done. To finish, go to the display on your printer and select Resume Print. The print head will reheat and continue printing. As the print continues, the holes for the magnets are nicely bridged or printed over, and this is how it looks when it's finished. Also on printables.com where I made these files available, I included images and instructions of where to pause the print for every file I created for this project. I hope this helps and I hope you go check it out.